this is Wilson 290 here, and today I'll be doing a review of the Celestron Nexstar 8-inch SE Schmidt Cathedral Telescope. I know you can't see the telescope very well, it's soft right now, but I'm doing this at night so as to be able to show you some of the telescope's features. So this is a computerized telescope. Uh, once you've got it all set up, you can actually use it to automatically point at certain objects such as galaxies, planets, and uh, the moon and a whole bunch of other things, about loads and loads of other different things. You control it using this controller which comes with the telescope. I'll have a link to this telescope on the Amazon. It is very expensive but um, it, if you're serious into astronomy it's a great machine. So you control it using this controller. And basically what you have to do before you can align, you can get it to work, you can get it to like point out stuff automatically for you and track it, is uh, you have to align it with three separate star, three separate bright stars in the night sky. And these three stars have to be very bright and they have to be in completely different parts of the sky. So this pro so the alignment process might take a few tries for you to get used to the telescope itself. It looks like a silver tube and uh, I'll take a minute to move the uh, computer a little closer so you can uh, see what it maybe see what what it sort of what it looks like. Yes this is a telescope right here. This is the telescope itself, and there's the stand. And uh, once you've got it set up, you can actually use it to point. You can actually use it to uh, point at basically anything you want, any object you want that's above the horizon. And as long as when you point, once you've aligned it correctly, and that object isn't covered by tr isn't covered by trees, such as unfortunately most of the gal all the galaxies are for me right now, you can you can tell this controller to point to a point the telescope at it, and you c and then the telescope will automatically go and focus on it for you and keep track of where roughly where it is and keep it in the eyepiece. So once you've aligned it, it'll say evol it'll say Evolution. I know you probably can't read the controller very well, at least very well, but where it says evolution, after you've aligned it, you'll want there'll be a button that says solar system stars deep sky, and a so, select solar system to go to the selection of planets. It will only actually display the objects that are above the horizon at that at the time you're looking. So if it doesn't show all the planets, that's why because the the planets that aren't on there must not be above the horizon. And then, and it's the same with stars and deep sky. Select stars to check out star constellations. Select deep sky to go to to, to tell it to point at things such as like get to select galaxies for it to point at, and things like that. There's things like Andromeda Galaxy in here, which is unfortunately behind trees for me right now. But uh, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go solar system. And I'm gonna, and it'll automatic. It automatically says Saturn. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pick my computer up, so you can sort of see what's going on. Okay, so Saturn is out in that direction right now. It's I can see the star where it's located, but you probably can't see it on the camera, even though I'm pointing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell it, go to Saturn on the controller, and then press enter. And then my telescope, as you can see, is moving, and it's now going to point at Saturn for me.
This is an 8 inch telescope, if I didn't mention that already. And I can't show it to you, but I can see the planet Saturn and its and its rings, as well as Saturn's biggest moon, Titan, in my telescope lens right now. I wish I could show it to you because it's a pretty incredible sight. But basically what I'm seeing is a small yellow ball with rings around it and a dot for, uh, for um, Saturn and its moon Titan. Saturn's the only planet that's above, that, that's above my horizon right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point it at the moon. I'm going to press enter. And the moon's right over there. And I'm going to point my telescope at it using this remote. And once you point at things, it will automatically track them for you and keep them in the, at least roughly, keep them in the eyepiece. And I am now looking at the moon. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, I again can't show it to you because I just tried to, but unfortunately, I cannot show it to you because this is not that I do not have a good astrophotography camera. But trust me, this telescope gets a five out of five. It's amazing what you can see when you point, what you can see with this thing. It might take you a couple tries to get it aligned as it did me, but uh. It's a fantastic scope. It gets 10 out of 10 stars. Celestron, you did a great job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off.